it's time to get my porch and patio cleanup started. So in this video, I'm starting with the patio and moving on from there. If you want to see that process, keep watching. If we're just meeting, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach traditional homemaking for today's homemaker. So if you wanna learn more about making and keeping a home, hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's get into it. I follow the Fly Lady cleaning process to manage my home, and it's zone one and it's week one, and we've got about four days to work in the zone this week. And zone one is the entryway, the dining room, that kind of thing. And I'm adding my patio and my porch to my entryway. So I'm gonna get started with that. And I often show videos that show how nice my flower garden and my porch and the patio looks when things are done. But this time, I thought I would show you how I operationalize the Fly Lady cleaning system to get things started. So I've got to take down the bird feeders, give them a good scrubbing, sweep the patio, clear the garden beds, and yada, yada, yada. So I invite you to join me as I put the Fly Lady cleaning system in action. Zone one, patio. According to the Fly Lady cleaning system, when you're working in your zones, it should not take more than 15 or 20 minutes for whatever task you have for that day. Since I have four days for zone one this particular week, I thought I would start with the bird feeders as one of my tasks. I knew scrubbing the bird feeders would take longer than 15 minutes, but it's the first task I always like to get done on the patio. So I've got to take all the theaters down and give them a good scrubbing. And my husband is working on the patio as well. He's got some tasks that he's identified to do while I work on the bird feeders. I'm using a solution of bleach water to clean the bird feeders. I give them a good scrubbing and then I rinse them down with clear water and then I set them out in the sun to let them dry. And these dome shaped items on the poles are my squirrel bafflers. They baffle the squirrels, so to speak. The squirrels can't get up the pole into the bird feeders. This little feeder here with the greenhouse is my woodpecker feeder. I put a suet cake in it and the birds have to be able to hang upside down to eat from it. I've got feeders for the squirrel, one of which is my squirrel in the jar. So that's that large jar you see me cleaning. Once the feeders have dried in the sun, we get them put back up on the poles. And my hubby will usually help me put them in place, particularly that tall one. I can reach it, but I have to reach it on tippy toe. I put different kinds of feed in the different feeders. This particular one is my Cardinal Chalet, and I put in a fruit and nut blend that attracts cardinals and blue jays and chickadees and those kind of birds. 
this little bluebird feeder is a pass-through. You can see the openings on the side and on the ends, and only small birds can actually get inside to get to the feed. And I like to have the feeders turned just so that way I can see the birds from my kitchen window. So now all the feeders have been filled, including my squirrel in the box and my squirrel in the jar feeder. If you're interested in either of my feeders, I'll put some links in the description box below so you can check them out. It was quite warm this day and we were pretty tired once we got done. So I grabbed a dish of ice cream and the hubby just sat with water. And we just sat there and talked for a little bit. And one of the things we'll do while we're sitting is just do a little bird watching. The hubby spotted a hawk and he can always see things that takes me a minute to find. Well, I've wrapped up another day of Fly Lady Vlogs, where I operationalized the Fly Lady cleaning system in my home. Today, I was working in Zone 1, the front porch and entryway, only I added on the back patio as part of my entryway today. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. It was work that needed to get done, and it made sense to do it here. If you like this video, be sure and stop back and check out my other Fly Lady Vlogs, where I continue to show you how I make the Fly Lady cleaning system work in the Jordan household. And just so you know, I've raised three children, and I've managed a home for more than 45 years. So if you want to learn more about the art and science of homemaking, subscribe. I can teach you to be a traditional homemaker in today's untraditional world. I'll see you next time.